bright young soul. The Dow will open at a record high this morning after soaring more than 300 points yesterday. It closed above 26,000 for the first time. CBS News analyst Jill Schlesinger is here. Good morning, Jill. Good morning. Why is it going up? Well, you know, same factors as last year, which propelled the market. We've got strong global growth, really strong. That has propelled corporate earnings, and they've grown much faster than expected. All this against a low interest rate. And I just want to say for the corporate earnings part of it, we are now in the reporting season. We are expecting a 10% increase for fourth quarter earnings from a year ago. That's before those tax cuts ever took place and the loosening of regulations. You put it all together, wow, the bulls are really in control. And they've been gone for a while. So what goes up must come down, right? So I don't want to put it on but how long can this last? Hang on, Cassandra, will you? Uh, okay, so the reality is this is the second longest bull market on record. But, you know, after I lived through the tech boom, what we know is even though that bull markets can get a little bit long in the tooth or valuations, meaning the price of the stock can get ahead of earnings, they can often last more than people really expect. Again, anything can undo it, but right now the bulls are in charge and there doesn't seem to be anything that's going to stop them. So what would a government shutdown do? You know, well, the deadline is Friday, tomorrow. So I looked this up because I was interested in this because what I remembered, I guess, misremembered is I thought, oh, this must be terrible for markets. Yeah. It's not clear. The last time the government shut down in 2013, the S&P 500 was up by 3% during the 16-day shutdown. Mm -hmm. It's the debt ceiling that really freaks out investors. So I don't think the shutdown is going to unnerve the bull market. Other things might, but not the shutdown. And what's your advice for those investing in the stock market? Take a breath. You know, when, we when I come on here and the market is cratering, I say the exact same thing. And the reality is you want to stick to your game plan. You want to have a diversified portfolio, good asset allocation plan. Don't jump in just because it's too high and don't get out when it goes down. Stay with it. You're a long-term investor. You know why you're doing this. So don't try to upend the plan. Thank you, Joan. Always